Today I'm going to be playing the story of Red Dead 2. Let's go. I have played online, but I have yet to play the story mode. So this should be fun. Let's get it. And I'm playing on keyboard and mouse. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There! Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Mm. Gladly. But, we're gonna ride out, and we're gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. 
We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Game feels really good on keyboard and mouse here. So that's a plus. Up. Take uh, the one thing that's not is that they don't have lock on, so the gunfights will be challenging, I'm sure. But I noticed that when I went to the story mode, there's no lock on for keyboard and mouse, only for paddle. Ride next to me, son. Don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get. Those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap? In Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. The place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Passing you. Yeah, okay. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. I've said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. 
You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good boy. Right. <coughs> okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Oh. Okay. Let's head down there. And I know I've already said it, but I have to say it again. The feel of this game on keyboard and mouse is... Whew, feels really good. Let's hitch up here. Yeah, look at that. It's gorgeous. Hitching post, huh? Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. disturb you uh my friends and i well we got into some trouble up the way lost in the storm ah uh, gentlemen we can't help you mister i got folks arthur dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem <laughs> folks. there's a corpse right here no i i just arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon here you just gentlemen Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, Fran, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe. Yeah! Look out! There's more to back! What's this guy wearing? What the fuck? Upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. We should eat something now. 
Get your strength up for the ride back. Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. The place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. was married to hmm. so where's the woman then he's dead out there in the car we just killed everybody he said he was married unless she died right probably years ago she die let's see flip wedding September no it's not the fourth what are you doing in there Arthur Jesus Christ what hmm <sighs> Just give me a minute. He was married. So where in the fuck? See if there's anything in that barn. Micah, oh. you search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. She's probably in the barn. Let's go. Him. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. <laughs> Where's Colm O'Driscoll? 
with the others at an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you <laughs> bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh, oh he was about to kill me. He's, his days are over. Beat spare choke. We're gonna be. Gave myself a new horse, huh? Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. I'm laying in the dirt. Get that horse hitch. Don't want him bolting. What the fuck? Mike, what the hell do you think? Ah, ah, oh, ah, look what I found ah, in the cellar! Why up there, ain't ya? Leave her alone! I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Hiding in the cellar. Fuck your fool, Michael. Look at her. Miss, now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. 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 Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. Then father's been they... <laughs> Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I, he, he was my husband. Damn. Hey, somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found <laughs> some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. 
Mr. Bale, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... Man, I'm she's sorry. young I'm sorry enough, huh? This little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been Where seen is in John? I want to see John. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a no look. No way, is that Jack? Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. <clears throat> the situation were reversed. He'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Man, living in those conditions back then had to be something else, let me tell you. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently, and that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot, Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. To activate cinematic camera, hold V. That snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Here, why don't you lead there, homie? Because I don't even know where I'm going. Careful, it's getting narrow here.
Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah. And look at the wind and the snow coming out the top of these rocks. Beautiful. Looks really good. Let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. It's amazing how you can play the online and then you play the story and the game looks totally different. Hey, look! It's crazy. See that? Looks good though. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's, Let's see if he can hear us. Yeah, over here. Come on, up there. I'm gonna let you lead the way there. How man? It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Approach the saddle. Okay. Come on. I mean, let's talk about this view, huh? Holy fuck. Unreal. You sure about this? Oh, that answered that, huh? It's coming from this way. Okay. It's slippery. Be careful. Mierda, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Stamina is displayed in the left lower, cor in the left lower corner, the here. outer bar depletes when you run and under climb. Okay. Stay with me, Arthur. Watch Damn, don't, I, don't I have some food? I do. I do, I really do. Watch your head here. Let's cover the old face up too. I think I got a, I do. Let's go. Okay from here. Let's have it on. Watch yeah. your stamina. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Stamina. Up this way. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Keep moving then. Come on. John! John! John, where are you? Marston! I'm here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Down here! Over here! Marston? He's down here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Yeah, <laughs> what it be like. I thought I'd John. say this, but <laughs> good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Well, at least we know how we got a scar, huh? You don't look so good. 
I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. <coughs> Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. <laughs> See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Uh, I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Oh, boy. Look up there. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go! We'll draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. What? We're getting you out of here. Stay there! We'll bring them this way. Get them off us, Arthur! I'm trying, buddy. I have no lock on, so bear with me there. Okay, let's get going before any more of these the bastards show up. Shoot you in your goddamn leg. Some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know? We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. And he wasn't too far from the where we're hiding out either. Jesus. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Uh, uh, hello. We <laughs> get some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. 
Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. Civilization? The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> to what him does. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. What'd it be like, son? Oh, you're fucking freezing or what? Good morning. Another cold morning. Oh, with you boys, because <coughs> I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many <laughs> long faces. Mm. I guess. I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> what a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscolls about? Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. The camp near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. Oh boy, he's using some trouble now. We got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. 
One, two, three, four, five. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this'll end. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Hold up here! Hold. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be seven, eight. No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm. And wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on.
Watch out. It's a bit steep. Start hitting fellers. Take the lead on this. <laughs> They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Bear, give me by the back. I'm going to start hitting fellers. Doing? Didn't we just talk about it? Kill these sons of bitches! Kill every last one of these bastards! Go at them! Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Do you recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, and ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Damn, I got some looting to do, boys. You want to fucking have a gunfight? Get over here! 
Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. <clears throat> Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Got a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John. Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. See that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Tie this guy, please. I surrender. I surrender. Uh, Holy you're shit. Coming with me. Just let me go. Come on. Come on. I, I, I'm nobody, Mister. your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, <laughs> Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? 
Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, <laughs> please! <laughs> Your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. And Morgan Ruthless, huh? Damn. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Please, I'll do anything. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> Introduce you to the boys. Come on, grab him off the horse. Don't Holy shit. Me, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it. I need a change in because I just done shitted myself. I, I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I got to figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Hello to you too, you miserable fuck. What'd it be like, boys? Guess that worked out with the old Driscolls. Now we just have to rob this train. Get out of here. Yeah. Them wagons are still snowed in. <laughs> 